is still work to be done in the next few days. I think it's important for every single member of the Senate to take a careful look at what's in the bill. <coughs> we welcome the scrutiny from the press. We will now recite everything that we know that's on paper about that bill. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Anna Marie Cox joining us now from Air America. Thanks for being here. I'm sure you uh, know a lot more about this bill. I know, uh, I know exactly twice as much as you do. Okay. Okay. Well, that, I guess the, the math works out on that one, regardless of how the Senate counts. Uh, they've given a lot to Joe Lieberman through this process. How, how big a deal is, is Howard Dean coming out on this, and, and how angry is the left? Well, I think the left is very angry, but I, I think that Sherrod Brown um, is representative of lawmakers on, on the left about this. I mean, I hate to say I told you so, but do you guys remember <laughs> we were talking about what was going to happen in this bill, like what was actually going to be in it? Modernization of medical records, lifting the caps on uh, the year and lifetime, and no pre-existing conditions. And what, what did Sherrod Brown say is in there? That. And, 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 none, and, he, and he says that 70% of what they wanted? It's well, incredible well, to me. That's what I want to get at, exactly. Because if that is 70 I don't recall uh, <laughs> the president on the campaign trail really pushing health insurance reform. I, I recall Which he, he might have been, might have been a better reform, idea to right? do. But I, right. I don't recall this bill initially when he started at the beginning of his term to be health insurance reform. It was the idea of really changing the delivery system, changing the way in which we consume bringing medical care costs. in this country. Bringing down th Where is that? That is that's nowhere in this. So I don't uh, know when this became... About the, health insurance this reform. This became about health. Well, actually, the, the move, they started talking I about remember, a health yeah. insurance reform over the summer. Right. And, and that seemed to me a savvy political move. And that's something they got buy in from moderates about. And that's what they, and that's, we ended up with a moderate bill. I mean, it's funny. I was actually at the Tea Party protest yesterday on the Hill, and and I the I wee wanted protest. Yeah, <laughs> very very right? tiny, we tea. Um, <laughs> and I remember wanting to tell them, you guys won. You know, like this is like <laughs> nothing else to rally. Yeah. Yeah. Like what are you what are you what are you here to protest? There's no public option. There's no extension of Medicare. Um, there's there, there's very little for those philosophical differences that Sherrod Brown was talking about to really stick a claim on. And it's coming at a moment where the, the president seems politically weakened in a, a number of different areas. Our latest ABC News. Washington Post poll has his approval rating at 50. That's the lowest we've had him in that poll. Of course, we're nowhere near now the sky high levels that he, that he was at uh, after after his election and, and after well, his he's inauguration. Losing, he's losing moderate. I mean, he's losing moderates. He's losing progressives. He's right. losing people who voted for well, him. Well, he's losing independents primarily. Right. Big time. I mean, he's, he's at 43% approval among independents at our right. latest poll. That is, that is tough terrain for him. That is. But I guess the thing that I think we're really seeing is also he's getting disapproval from people who really wanted to like him, who really w voted for him and wanted to support him. Um, and, and that's where the, the numbers start to get really scary for, for approval ratings for a president. And that's where health care plays in, too, yeah. because if you disappoint this, this whole group, the base, then who do you have left to run to? I think that the Dean comments make the most sense in terms of, you know, gaming this out um, for, the, for midterms um, and, and what kind of support and what kind of excitement people can get um, for people that were unable to do even a... a well, I, that 70% number is going to bother me for the rest of the day. With <laughs> Sherrod Brown saying they got 70% of what they want. I would flip that around. I think they got 30% of what they wanted. Uh, take a look at a few more poll numbers here on, on some key uh, issues. He's upside down. He, uh, majority disapproval now for the first time on health care, on the health care reforms in the bill, on the economy. He's at 52% disapproval. This is the first time on these issues that he is at majority disapproval. Forget the independents versus the liberal base. We're talking about a majority, a bare majority of the country now disapproving of him on these major issues of the day. Kind of important ones. Kind of important ones. And I also think it has to do with just the, the inability to have, you guys use the plane metaphor. Um, I know you have a special fondness for transportation <laughs> issues, <laughs> David. Um, um, and it's true that he's just, that, that we haven't seen anything really come in. I mean, that, that's sort of the irony of this high disapproval rating is that they don't, <laughs> there's nothing to disapprove of just yet. Um, it's a lack of action. It's a lack of deliverables. Um, and it's people not not seeing any changes in their everyday lives. And, and, br and briefly, Anna, I need your take on this uh, the Schwarzenegger v. Palin uh, that's playing out now on Facebook. I, 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 I have visions of like a Robert Smeagol cartoon. <laughs> I mean, there's like something great here. Well, with Alaska Barbie versus the Terminator. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know who the real winner in that fight is? Steve Schmidt. Oh, yeah. um, I think right. I, I picture well Steve Schmidt, who we... Campaign, the McCain campaign manager, obviously, is at odds with Sarah Palin. And right, um, and uh, we used to call him on the campaign trail, we called him Lobot, which I know is another reference that you two will get if no one else. <laughs> um, and I, sort of, I imagine him kind of sitting at home, reading the Facebook back and forth, and... <laughs> <laughs> right, he'd make a good character, too, for our, for our graphic novel. <laughs> yes. That's uh, very funny. Uh, yeah, the, but, but the queen of Facebook. The queen of Facebook, and I'm, and I'm sure that that Facebook message to Schwarzenegger had all the impact um, on the political process that she imagined it would.
Well, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. We'll leave it there. Otto Marie Collins well joining us from Air America. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Be sure to click us on again tomorrow and tune into Charlie Gibson's interview with the president tonight on World News. Can't miss TV. And it's Twitter.com slash the note to keep that conversation going. Charlie, president last week. Hey, final presidential interview for the man who's done a lot.